I'm very glad to say good morning still. Um, Finland, Oulu, and Mika Pentila, the floor is yours. Floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you very much. Greetings from Oulu. Hello. Uh, I'm uh, actually, my name is uh, Mika Pentila and work as director. And our system needs uh, like, uh, like a deputy mayor. And uh, uh, of course, it's my great pleasure to share with my point of view the topic the cooperation between local and national municipalities in education and culture based uh, here in Oulu and, and in Finland too. And I actually uh, take uh, the slide slow. Uh, yes, that's that's correct. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, uh, about uh, First, uh, but first, a few perspectives on the city of Oulu. Uh, uh, Oulu is the largest city in North Finland. It's founded in 1605 by uh, King Charles of Sweden. Oulu is situated by Gulf of Botnia and the mouth of Oulu River, which is, which is an ancient trading site. The name Oulu comes from a word in Sami language meaning floodwater. Oulu has been capital of uh, uh, Oulu province since 1776, uh, from being a town known for tar or salmon. Oulu has evolved into growing water center of competence. And next uh, slide, yeah. Uh, Oulu is internationally known as a city of technology, cooperation between enterprises research, education, and public organization has produced significant results. Today, Oulu is a major center of competence in the field of high technology, particularly IT, wellness technology, uh, well-being, bio, and environmental field. More traditional industry, such as food refining, paper, and steel industry are also strong in Oulu. And we go next slide. Uh, Oulu's one, uh, one of the youngest population in, in, in Europe. Uh, the average age of residents is about 38. Oulu's tradition in education are as old as the city itself. The 33% people in fit in Oulu area and region have university decrease. Oulu is a, two, a city of two universities. Uh, like I mentioned, University of Oulu and University of Applied Sciences is of the 25,000 uh, uh, students. And of course, it's very, very uh, 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 very, very uh, uh, big university, like I mentioned, and the uh, University of Oulu is uh, at the top of uh, 6G research. Uh, the 6G research program at the University of Oulu is one of the first one in the world. And then we moving on to the actual topic. And next slide. Uh, we talk uh, about content of the seminar before. The organization gave me a few questions in the advance that they hope to be addressed in the presentation. And where was um, one was uh, uh, was a question about uh, does. Um, does, uh, uh, what specific task does Oulu performing in the field of education and cultural cooperation fit into other 
other municipalities. Uh, the city of Oulu is collaborating significant with various municipalities in different ways. Firstly, at the national level, level having an influence on the legislative project that matter to us. The committees of the parliament requires opinions on the legislative project, but we also aim to make impact in advance. This kind of initiative include clear errors or shortcomings in the legislation. Another example is funding and its adequacies. Finland is a relatively small country, like I think uh, Estonia too, and the development over uh, recent decides has been significant. One key point for success has been cooperation, I think so. And the same way we are developing the key issues of my own field of operating together with other cities. In a recent year, one important uh, field of develop development has been digital uh, platforms. We currently have development work underway in the improvement of enterprise research planning, system for basic education and early childhood education. We have decided that the ownership to, of, of the system will take over by the cities and, and commercial oper operator, operators will provide their own services to the basic system. Previously, the commercial operators would supply the entire system which they also own. Uh, the developing the competence of the staff is one of the key areas of collaboration. Cooperation with the cities and universities is important. In this way, we can ensure that the best practices are used and that competence is spread across the country. We are pursuing continuous local cooperation with the, news, uh, with the University of Oulu. Oulu is the center of the city of North, North of the Portria region. We recognize uh, our role and position in this entity. The central city, from the perspective, is expected to take the lead. For our part, we will make sure that the entire region develop and success is competition is in competition with the other urban, urban re region. When all the trees, the entire region thrives and vice versa. And of, uh, and of course, all of uh, the forms of local cooperation, I will like to make special mention across administration cooperation with the health and social services. Uh, the case of the public services, it's important to identify the customer pace and strive to cross administrative solution that uh, handle the client, inhabitant of municipality, to obtain the best services. And we will move to our next slide. Uh, of course, we make a uh, good and, and uh, very large uh, last cooperation in here in Oulu and here is a picture that kind of uh, organization but uh, but I, I move on because the time is limited and here is some some part of uh, our our uh, uh, partners partners uh, enterprises and, and uh, organization and uh, here is some uh, cities where we make uh, make good conne connection all over the world. And next, we move on to cooperation uh, deeply. And uh, the basis for collaboration varies to depending on the type of cooperation. Uh, we can be members. That's uh, as a association in Finnish municipalities, we may have a contractual structure such as Digi One 
I, I, I mentioned that uh, later. Or collaboration may be based on, on EU or local development plan or project. Uh, the uh, Association of Finnish Municipality, which is uh, an advo advocacy organization uh, uh, for the municipalities, is the typical op operator that brings together uh, the municipalities for different issues. Personally, I operate in many different groups where the Association of the Finnish Municipality acts as the governor. Within the network of heads of service, we receive current issue, plan joint development project, and exert influence on matter handled by ministries and parliament. In other groups, we are operating as a steering group for a system where reporting data for basic education and upper secondary school school education is catering. And uh, another example is the above men mentioned digital uh, development. The cities of Espo, Oulu, Tampere, Turku and Vanta, as well as Kuntien Tiera, have signed a cooperation agreement for the long-term development of DigiOne service platform and ecosystem. Uh, our goal is to improve learning and well-being by creating a groundbreaking change in a way the education and services are produced in Finland. This is achieved by building an open, open ecosystem, ecosystem where all actors working in the field of education can join together to build a national service platform for education. The pro project will run until 2023. During this time, service will be provided to basic education and general upper secondary school. So, we move to next slide, and I, I had to open my, my my uh, phone and next here. Decision making in Finland is based, based on, uh, on the principles determined by legislation. Uh, the starting point in municipal decision making is that the city council decide on the issue. In practice, decision-making power has been further delegated so that it is made either by city board, the relevant substantive board, or the office holder. Uh, the order in which decisions are made is tied to the scale or effectiveness of the agreement. Also, the length of the contract and the disposition of the parties to the contract are significant. Uh, in the case of joining in the undersea power cable project from Japan via the Atlantic Ocean through Finland, the contract on behalf of the city will be made by the municipal council. Uh, if, on the other hand, the question is of participation uh, in the F uh, made mention development project of digital, digital platform. The decision, decision is made by the board. As the director, I am entitled to conclude contracts that are that are under the U threshold value. And we look at uh, some point about Oulu, city of Oulu decision making. Uh, the highest decision making body is the city council, which is elected every four years in local election. And we have a current uh, 67 councillor. 
And I'll like mention the city board is responsible to city administration and finance finances. And um, uh, the city board consists of uh, 13 members elected by city council. And the uh, city board is responsible to municipal administration and econ economy and preparation of the matters to, the, uh, to be decided by the city council and making sure that the decision uh, made by the council are implemented and in accordance with, uh, with the law. And uh, I think that uh, we go to the next slide. Administration and financial of cooperation based on the form of cooperation. Uh, and it's where is and it's uh, 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 as uh, I like mentioned as for the association of Finnish municipalities, we pay a membership fee and have a right to appoint to members uh, to the port and the different institution. Um, given that Finland has over 300 municipalities, not that all of them can naturally be involved in each group. And so represent, representation is also an important. Uh, as to development of digital platform, uh, we have paid the partnership fee. Ownership of the project is with the cities. Practical management is performed by the project staff and the activities are directed as well monitored by the steering group. Members are invited to the different groups. The convener takes care of organization and funding of the group's, group's activities. In some cases, the participa participants pay compensation in a way agreed upon separately. And next one. In my way, uh, the development of Finland would not have been possible without a smooth collaboration. Uh, Collaboration, networking, and commitment are strategic choices. As all, we have have benefit from influence legislation. We have introduced best practices and earned the benefits of development development project. Uh, collaboration naturally also involves challenges. Even base work takes a lot of time and results are limited, of course. Likewise, it is sometimes challenging to find suitable part parties for the collaboration, especially in those cases where the pre request for collaboration involves a financial contribution. Finding partners can be proved challenging. That is why we are working with our partners to ensure that the basic for collaboration is the strategic uh, one. And uh, finally, uh, I mean, recommendation for Estonia. Um, if we talk about that that point uh, later, but uh, challenges, uh, I I think that uh, I mean mean uh, one one more question is uh, that that and another challenge that all face. Uh, uh, is that fact that the municipalities close to us are far smaller than we are. Uh, therefore, the direction for collaboration is often towards the larger cities 
in the south, uh, like like uh, Tampere, Turku, Helsinki, Vanta, Espoo. However, we also cooperate locally. As I previously explained, the role of the central city of the area also requires this one. And then the result and recommendation. I think that it's, it's very, very hard to give a direct recommendation, but, but some points. And one, one of that is uh, one plus one equals more than two. And uh, of course, all in all, in cooperation lies strengths. And it is well worth pursuing if we want to continue development. And uh, of course, defining the limits of cooperation is, uh, is important because uh, every day cannot be consist of co cooperation only. And um, finally, I will, uh, sorry, next slide. Finally, I want uh, want to uh, share you uh, sh share with you. Uh, next summer, it will be uh, decided which city in Finland will be the European capital in, of Kolso in 2026, and always uh, in the race. And hopefully, we will be the European capital Kolso at the time, and welcome to visit all who had the latest at that time. Thank you. Thank you very much for your presentation. And we have several questions for you from, from Tallinn. The first question, why Olu is motivated to do intermunicipal cooperation with other smaller neighboring municipalities? What is the motivation of Olo? Uh, uh, I like to mention uh, one of the key, key questions is, uh, is the, uh, the, uh, our, our, our location. We are a leading country here in Olo area. And of course, it's our responsibility to, to make local, local and, and area cooperation. And uh, uh, of course, it's not one way because we 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 give uh, we, we get a lot of a uh, lot of our surrounding surrounding uh, municipalities of course and uh, I think that the, one of the main points could be that that uh, that uh, there is the, some kind of uh, some kind of uh, knowledge and we we get that and and we we uh, pay pay back uh, pay back that that kind of uh, the cooperation process. Thank you very much. And uh, uh, another question is this. You have huge territory and low population densities. So how is organized municipal cooperation on regional business development and research and development R&D? Is this driven fully by Oulu? If not, then what kind of role play and how contribute rural municipalities to this processes uh, well, well it's very very big question and and of course it's it's uh, it's, it's mainly mainly an, an, an uh, totally basic basic question in here in Oulu, we are organization that in we, we have a uh, uh, own own music, uh, own sector in in uh, that field uh, we call business Oulu. And uh, here is uh, our our municipalities uh, resources and and uh, uh, staff, and uh, of course they have to uh, uh, they, uh, municipalities are uh, strategy and uh, uh, cooperation with uh, with uh, uh, enterprises and and university and and uh, other other parties is is uh, uh, business all uh, responsibilities but but of course my my field is is some responsibilities and and other other field uh, is same 
Thank you. And the final question, you are responsible for the cultural cultural scene of Oulu. How active is Oulu culturally? What, is, what are the cultural activities in Oulu? How to bring culture to a small city, smaller city like, like Oulu? Okay, it's a it's, it's very important question because, because here is a symphony orchestra, there is theater, and there is uh, very many, many uh, happening o o here in Oulu. And of course, it is, uh, it is uh, clear that, that in, in surrounding our, our area, there is a theater or, or, or uh, orchestra and, and so on. And of course, uh, it's our responsibilities and, and, uh, and we agree that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And, uh... Yet another question. Do municipalities monitor the cost efficiency of cooperation constantly? Too many. Sorry, sorry, I, I don't hear. Do municipalities it... monitor the cost efficiency of cooperation? You said the word almost money, so the question is about money. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes. Thank you very much. I, I, I heard that question. Yes, of course. It's, it's very important and, and actually two or three times per, per year we, we, uh, we look uh, and, and what, what, what had, have, what had, uh, had uh, happened in, in the, that area. Okay, and finally, this week Estonia and, and Finland kind of last week separated a little bit because of COVID, because the uh, flow of Estonians to Finland and Finns to Estonia kind of stopped because of this disease. What is the situation now in Oulu? How, how this all impacts your life there? Uh, very, 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 very many ways. And, and nowadays it's a uh, little bit easier, but, but uh, we have uh, many, 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 many reactions now, nowadays here in Oulu. Hopefully next, next, some more could be easier and, and of course it's very important to me what's happening in Finland and Estonia because my, my two daughter study in, in Tallinn nowadays and, okay. and of course I, I see very very carefully what's happening there. Thank you very much. So another example how closely we are connected and tied to each other Estonia and Finland. Thank you very much for your interesting presentation and have a good day in Olo.